Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to share with you this kinetic typography template for After Effects, and this is a beta beta test version. I just, I just want to see what's the feedback for this, what what I can do to uh, improve, or or else after this uh, round, I'll probably put the price to it. Feel free to download it and try. Let me know what you think. Uh, see if there's any bugs and let me know your feedback as well. So let's get started. First of all, this is made in After Effects CC 2020, which is also version 17. I would suggest you to use uh, the same version, the latest one, CC 2020, because there is a lot of this master comp that is being used. So for example, this comp here, I have three of them and all of them are using these master properties. They are linked to a controller and if I dig into this, I can see that there is a lot more layers of uh, pre-coms here and each one of them have their own master properties as well. So I'm not sure whether it will work the same way in the older versions. So if you are using an older version, please uh, let me know whether it works just as well or, or there's any bugs. I will down save it for the older versions, but I'm quite sure that the com the compati compatibility for these master properties will not be will not be the same la. The concept for all this is to be a vertical video suitable for more for social media. Most of these settings should be able to help you loop in a 10 second timeline. If not, it might be because of the too many changes to the motion tile. I would say that will interfere with the looping. Okay, so ideally, just want to change the text, find a suitable size preset, change a bit of the settings to adjust the sizing and the padding, things like that. And if you want to change the font, you have to change it at the source com. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so you can see under the project folder, we have uh, a presets folder and all these presets are organized into different folders of each set. So other than the first set, cylinder mix set, the rest are fairly standard in the way it is uh, created and organized. We have uh, these five different ways that this type is animated. So let me just open all of this and just briefly go through. Words wiggle x scale. This one, so this one I need two words. There will be a wiggle component to this, which you can edit it in this text become controller here, or the wiggle amplitude frequency, the clamp minimum and maximum of the wiggle. The two words will wiggle and then it will loop. In this second one, we have uh, static. So static has no, not much, no, no movement at all. The next one, we have a uh, lattice wiggle x scale. So for this one, every letter will be uh, wiggling about in terms of the x scale. So as you can see here, L is long, uh, wider, E is narrower. You can see B is being squashed up, R is being squashed up. So every letter will just keep moving about throughout the whole 10 seconds and then you loop. So letters scroll. For letter scroll, you will just start off standard like that and then somewhere uh, and then you will keep animating in a scrolling manner. The letters will animate up and down in a randomized manner and then at the end you'll come back uh, you'll come back to normal again okay this for this one we have keyframe two words scale the size of the two words here so this one as you have two words so the size of the two words will change based on uh, how you keyframe this animation here and then you will ping pong i set it at two and a half seconds here and then you can see that uh, over here is at 30 30 is the size so 100 30 is is the size of the the first the first word so you can see at about 100 both sides should be about the same here 99 both sides should be about the same and then i set this one to about 500 500 so every word combination will be slightly different so you have to adjust accordingly okay so there are many variants so what okay so i need to go through about the variants as well so let me take a look at the first first preset here each of these preset there is a control so if there is a control for for this, I have the cylinder selector. So this is number three, it means I'm selecting the third third one here. So I've pre-made a few and then under text precom controller can select the layer selector. So this layer selector is inside the the comp itself and then there are 15 types of sizes. So the the reason why it is set up this way is because depending on your text size is gonna make it very uh, scale differently. 
So for example, this is, I'm changing my text now. So I change the text to bigger, better. It's a longer, it takes up a longer space here. So I will need to go into my text pre-com and look for a suitable, a suitable, a suitable layer with the right amount of sizing. And yeah, so for example, layer nine, layer nine is uh, slightly wider. So maybe I can use this. So, so for every little comp, it's uh you have to take a look and see which uh which is the one that you want to control and change cc cylinder controller is gonna adjust all of these for everything here because of how this is set up i'm referencing the index of the layer i will suggest that you create a pre-com for this for most of this i i suggest you to duplicate this so for example Control D, I duplicate, I reject this, and I put this in the pre-comp. So this is now within a pre-comp for this one. Just uh, rename it to oh, something that is uh, suitable for you, maybe by date. And then you can add on more stuff on top of it. Because, let me undo this. Because if you come here and then you, you sort of, uh, let's say you want to add another text on top of this. And then it kind of adds to the layer right this text layer interferes with the, the index of the layer and then you're gonna be referencing one layer down instead of this referencing layer the third comp it's gonna be referencing the second comp yeah that's how this works so so i suggest you to pre-comp this once you get what you want okay how do we change the text so i'm here on, on one of the comps here if you want to change this double click on the marker command on the marker to change the command and you can change the text here let's say i change it to this and then it's gonna update so you can see that different text length will affect it differently and you can also see that if i create another marker here it's gonna change uh, to a different uh, to whatever that marker command is so to remove you con click control and then uh, click on it so that's how you change the text inside so for this one i have uh, three three cylinders that the reference source text the the text in source text so let me open up my master com here source text this is referencing this and if you want this to let's say you want to change it to one two three for example let me uh disable let me disable this when i right click edit value change it to another the, the text that i want and then the same thing for the next uh next two open up master properties disable edit value let's say this is one so you can see that uh it is a bit oversized you can change that later let me just change this source text as well disable right click edit value three so you can see that different because all these are different text width sizes kind of thing character length it looks different so that's something that is a part of this unless you want to fine tune every single one and change the layer select under the layer select selector you change it individually if not let's come to pre text uh, text precom controller here and then just select something else and then find one that fits fits so yeah this one looks good actually so layer 3 looks good so what this actually does is that it comes into here this layer the the main com the, the source com it reads layer 3 which is 480 by 270 and looking for this size so that's what is happening change the font change the font you need to go into the source text and press tab and go all the way to the right find the source text and then click here click the source and then change the font so you will have to do it for every single one so under the source text folder if you let's say we just open this view this one just you just only need to select the ones that are visible or the, the one that is in, not visible won't, won't be seen anyway so just select the, the ones that are visible and then change the font you shouldn't need to change the size because the size should kind of auto scale on its own to, to kind of fit the comp so for example this one has a lot also just highlight select everything just change the font to something that you want and then it's going to affect everything so maybe you want to use everything and then you just go through all these and then change the font to something that you want and from then on the whole uh, the whole project will be able to use your your font that you uh, that you change it to i recommend to use uh, this all caps here because it it makes everything more consistent for for certain types for certain designs uh, i would say 
Okay, so for example, this particular design is a text wiggle x scale. What this means is that each and every letter is scaling up and down, uh, scaling in size in the x scale. So the letters are fixed in this kind of a box. And if some of the letters are small, right, they will actually shift and then the alignment will be off. So generally, I would say it's better to keep it all caps. If you can try and see how it works for you, tell me what you think of this, whether it's too complicated or there are some bugs or things like that, your feedback will be very much appreciated. So now let me just jump into each and every one of these design and sets and then kind of explain what, what they actually look like. So first one, we have this uh, cylinder look here. This one, because this set has everything, so you're going to have to toggle between 1 to 15 of this on the text precom controller here. So there are a lot of different sizes that, that you can try. Or for CC cylinder controller here, you'll be able to control the rotation speed. The cylinder, you'll be able to control the rendering, so uh, the position as well. But the rotation, the rotation is different for each one of these. So it's not linked to it. The light, you can control for everything, the shading can control for everything. Uh, you can change the rotation order as well and it will affect everyone. Okay, so the second one here, we have a twisting, we have a twisted cylinder. Uh, generally, it's quite the same as the previous one. So this is a ring, ring style, also cylinder. It's also a cylinder. Let me just change it to another one. So let's do three. So the same, one, two, three means it's referencing layer three. Okay, so this is a ring twist set here. There we have uh, six presets for you. If you want, you can create more and uh, just duplicate them and then change it accordingly to something that you like. Experiment with it. Just uh, remember that this is, uh, we have the cylinder selector that selects the layer and then you can play around with all these extra settings here. And then there's a motion tile setting as well. You can go ahead and play with it. I don't want to go so much into detail. This lot here, this lot is a preset cylinder. So it's just three different cylinders here. Uh, they are controlled by transform controller. So you can use this, you can use this to adjust everything. All three of these cylinders together like that. And then we have this extra, all these extra adjustment layers to do uh, additional fanciful stuff. Okay, let's jump to the next set. The next set, I have a cylinder tunnel set. I have created a set of uh, preset cameras. If not, this is the standard look. Text is here as well. For the next one, we have a twist cylinder. This one is similar to the previous cylinder, just that they are uh, diagonally across. Uh, this one is a flow, flowy. I call it flowy because this is a towel, this is a standard towel and then all these effects that you can stack on top of it makes it give gives it a very flowy organic liquid like look uh, because of all the distortion. So a lot of combinations they can play with. Polar one we are using polar coordinates to create this look here. Uh for the polar two, it's also polar coordinates, but we are using it in a different uh direction. S Sphere, sphere. So for this sphere, we have, let me see, six different variations. So quite similar. You can come here to the sphere select, sphere selection and then change it. This controls the light and shading. And then all the extra fine-tuned details are over here as well. So the last, second last set here, we have a tunnel. So tunnel is just a, basically a cube cube like tunnel square squarish looking tunnel and then the second uh second tunnel is also the same thing just that this one is in a different direction so i also have a few camera setup that you can use straight away to give you various uh, dynamic angles okay so that's about it so if you have any questions uh, if you need me to uh, go into more detail yeah you didn't talk about this enough uh, this thing doesn't work well just just uh, let me know and then I'll, I'll see how i can get another another one uh, going if not tell me what is uh, working and what is not working uh, is it too complicated or is there more stuff that you want added inside so yeah let me know thanks